Organization of the nervous system. As we've seen previously, the nervous system consists of two major divisions, the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system. The central nervous system consists of the spinal cord and the brain. Both are protected by bone. The spinal vertebrae protect the spinal cord and the skull protects the brain. Features of both include the meninges and the cerebrospinal fluid. The meninges are three protective membranes. Spinal meningitis is the infection of these coverings. It can spread to the brain and if untreated it produces rigid muscles, convulsions, vomiting and death. The cerebrospinal fluid fills spaces between the meninges and the central canal of the spinal cord and the ventricles, that is the spaces. These structures are interconnected so that the fluid is continuous within them and this is what makes a spinal tap possible. The function of the cerebral spinal fluid is to provide a cushion for the brain and the spinal cord. The peripheral nervous system. The peripheral nervous system lies outside the spinal cord. Here we see it colored yellow. These are the peripheral nerves. The peripheral nervous system is composed of three types of nerves. There are the sensory nerves, which are composed of long dendrites of sensory neurons, motor nerves, which are made of long axons of the motor neurons, and mixed nerves, which contain the long dendrites of sensory neurons and the long axons of motor neurons. Associated with the brain are the cranial nerves. There are 12 pairs. These nerves are concerned with the head, except for the vagus nerve, which branches to internal organs, such as the heart. Some cranial nerves are sensory nerves, some are motor nerves, and some are mixed nerves. There are 31 pairs of spinal nerves. In the diagram on the right, we only see one half of each pair. They serve the region of the body where they're located. All are mixed nerves. In our next video, in our next video we'll take a closer look at the brain.